Hello to all the Virgos out there. Hello and welcome to this video about December, the planets for Virgo. What are they doing during the month of December 2012? I'm going to give you also a little bit more of an emphasis of the last week of December with people who, um, for people who celebrate Christmas or New Year's Eve and if you're not I assure you it's going to be interesting as well I hope I assure you but I also hope so now for all the mutable signs including you you know Pisces um, Sagittarius Gemini's and Virgos um, it's going to be Neptune month again and um, I know for a lot of Virgos, and, and why do I know that? Because I'm a Virgo myself, it's a bit of confusing time again. But it's only a couple of weeks, a week or two, uh, beginning around the 11th of December until around the 20th, 21st of December. Now, what is going on? Neptune is in your seventh house. Neptune is the planet of the divine, it's a wonderful planet. Uh, but the flip side is confusion. And why is it uh, challenging this month? Because Neptune is squaring up to your ruler, which is Mercury. And it's also going to square up uh, to Venus. And it all happens in your fourth house. Is it bad? Not at all. Because I know that many Virgos are really much into the clearness that always comes after that transit. So in other words, after the 20th, 21st, things are really going to clear up for a lot of Virgos. But first of all, there's a bit of work uh, that has to be done. Why do I say work? Because it's the fourth house of inner work. Literally, it could mean that you are very active in that house. Um, uh, we're doing a lot of good things, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I think it, it, it more has to do with you, your core. Um, Neptune is in your seventh house, so in the house of other people, relationships. Even when you don't have a relationship, um, it's about how other people appear to you. And they're Neptune-like, so they, are very, they could be spiritual, they could be um, having that connection with all there is. Could be people who are very artistic, could be people who are, um, what else, what else, who were working in the film industry or whatever, you know, who have that imagination around them, that fantasy around them, that, that creativity around them. So creative people. But sometimes when this square happens between other planets to Neptune, it's getting a bit confusing. Um, so but in other words the clearness comes from those other people as well so it's it's much like first they're a bit confusing but then there is a clearness and i think that's a good thing so um it has to do i think with your uh key areas of life which is your fourth house and your tenth house um why your fourth house because this mercury so that is your ruler and Venus is in Sagittarius in the fourth house and it's going to square up with that Neptune in the seventh. Also that Mercury and Venus is going to oppose Jupiter in the tenth. Now what I know that Virgos want all the details so I'm going to give you all the details. What does it all mean? It simply means that in all key areas of life this confusion can be triggered. So not only that other person close to you but also there could be a bit of confuse, confusion concerning your work, um, which way you go. And um, I have talked about that quite some time for Virgos. Every time there is this Neptune or this um, other personal planet that is connecting with that Neptune in a, in a square, which is always challenging, a team like that is happening for you Virgos. So, uh, but it's also considering your fourth house, which is you, which is your core. So all of that is triggered and all of that can mean that um, you're doing, I think Virgos are doing a lot of work concerning their inner core, 
concerning of um, really to get the no to know themselves well. And I'm not saying that you're someone that doesn't know yourself, at, not at all. I'm just saying that there are many, many opportunities for Virgos to get to know themselves on a very deep level. And when they do that, um, the understanding of themselves, but also of other people is growing. And um, this is really important for Virgos because when you're a Virgo, even a sun or a moon or an ascendant, it means that you are um, here to, to help other people, basically. And um, even when you are a Virgo who's really much into, uh, you know, Virgo with an ego, <laughs> is that possible a Virgo with an ego? It is. Look at me. Um, uh, everyone has an ego, otherwise, you know, they can't do anything. I can't make videos without having an identity and an ego. But the thing I want to say is that Virgos are really now, and especially around the month of December, getting in touch with themselves. And that's a good thing, even though it's through the root of, um, of confusion. So whatever it is, just hold on to that. Um, now what else is going on for Virgos? Well, a very nice thing for you is that Mars, which is the planet of action, is in your fifth house for most of the time uh, of the month of December. So you're going to be enormously creative um, in many, many ways. So maybe just with Christmas, look at me, look at me, I did a bit of effort. You know, I did a bit of effort, trying to be a bit creative. and. Um, Maybe you're going to do that as well, not only around Christmas time, but maybe you're going to be creative with your kids, you know. Uh, most Virgos, they adore kids. They can um, be at the same level with kids because they, most Virgos, if you're a good Virgo, they're humble. They don't see people uh, more, uh, um, more than them or they don't put people on a pedestal. You know, they like the equality with people and also even with children, they like to be equals. And uh, so it could be a good time for that to put a bit of action uh, with your children and to enjoy them. And I think you, are go you have the opportunity to do that, uh, whether it is with decoration or something completely different. Um, what else is happening? Well, there is of course the sun also um, around uh, that time of the year it is going to enter the fifth house. So again, a beam on pleasure, a, a beam on creativity. And Virgos do really like that, that really, you know, that every little detail is in its place and that everything is fine and that, um, uh, that they are enjoying themselves in the, in the, when it comes to these little things. Now, what about uh, Christmas time? Well, if you are celebrating Christmas, uh, the 25th of December, it's going to be a very nice time for a lot of Virgos. I know that in general people sometimes have uh, fear when it considers um, uh, this time of the year because they are confronted with themselves, basically. That's just basically it. They're confronted with their family, with, with, with people and um, sometimes alcohol is con involved and uh, certainly here in Belgium um, we love to celebrate, we are a Burgundic uh, people but um, then emotions tend to, um, you know, the boundaries are um, uh, fading away and, um, but I think for, for Virgos it, it's going to be a nice time, why do I think that? because Venus is in your fourth house and uh, of Sagittarius and Venus is of course um, a diplomatic planet even though it's now in Sagittarius a very straightforward sign but um, I think that's just the way that you are going to behave around that time very Venus-like and very harmonious-like with other people notwithstanding the fact you are together with people that have absolutely or that are not sharing your opinion that are not sharing your lifestyle and that's fine so um, I think that is going to be the case for a lot of Virgos um, the moon uh, is in Gemini around that time so that's your 10th house 
So again, there is this culmination going on uh, when it considered um, your work as well. So I talked about around the 11th until the 20th, a bit of confusion on many areas of your life, but after that, the 20th, there is um, an understanding um, and a clearance and also about work. And even when you don't have work, um, maybe you can just um, have the idea of, okay, now I know what I want. And that's a good start as well, if you are out of a job and if you want one. So, um, at the 28th of uh, December, there is a full moon. Um, and normally I don't mention that for Virgos. I, on, I, also, I only mention that for um, uh, the Cancerians who are ruled by the moon. But uh, this is a very important moon for all of us around the time of the 27, 28, 29. Um, so it, it's around the time also of um, the new year that is going to start. And why is this such an important moon? Because uh, the moon is at seven, uh, this full moon is at seven degrees of, um, of Cancer. And uh, uh, so in other words, it triggers the Pluto Uranus square. You know, the square, the Pluto, seven degrees, Capricorn, Uranus, around those degrees of um, Aries. And now the moon is going to um, square up to that. So expect that for a lot of people, it's going to be culmination time. And that is good. It can be challenging. It can be a little bit of an emotional uh, period, but I don't think it's going to be negative because it's a strong moon. Moon in uh, Cancer is in its own sign. But there are things happening um, that are seriously have their culmination. So the things that you have been working on for the last few months are going to culminate in a way. And for the Virgos, it has to do with their aspirations and with their creativity. So it has to do with their long term, you know, the things that they want to do on the long term. And most Virgos are good planners. And sometimes they think, I plan everything, but when will I get the, you know, um, uh, the present? I think for a lot of, a lot of Virgos, literally, they're going to get some presents at the end of the year. So that's good. So, anything else? Because I know I have to be very analytical for those Virgos uh, amongst you, but I think that's the most important thing. Oh yes, and Saturn is beautifully sextiling um, uh, in Scorpio. It's sextiling uh, Virgo. And that is good, especially for that... Um, yes, that's another important thing I want to say to you. So with that confusion thing, don't worry. You've got Saturn in a sextile. Uh, with your sign which means you're gonna be feet on the ground and we Virgos we do like that don't we feet on the ground we like to have the connection uh, with yeah, the ideal world but we also like feet on the ground and that's very much going to be for you the month of December thank you very much for watching Virgos have a Merry Christmas have a Happy New Year make the best out of it and see you soon. See you next month. Bye-bye.